Hey everyone, in this video we'll be learning about crop feature inside our Xamarin Forms project. Here you can see I have used FF image loading crop feature and here I can just crop the image within this canvas and then get the final image of the cropped uh, image that I have used. So here uh, I am using this uh, fake image URL to generate one uh, fake image and uh, here you can see if I try to uh, crop the image and zoom that image uh, to any dimension as I like and let us suppose if I just want to extract out this image only then I could just extract it out and then get that final image and then this image can be sent to anywhere as a form of stream or bytes so that is a way an easy way to get the cropped image and send it to anywhere as we like here you can see i have a new fresh project that is uh xamarin forms project and here i have used one plugin name as ff image loading so here uh, i have used ff image loading ff image loading dot forms and the transformation plugin so these are the only plugins that we really need in order to go ahead now what we basically want uh, out of the project is uh, adding the native implementation that is uh, this line of code that is case image render dot init as true and it inherits from ff image loading dot forms dot platform and along with uh, on the ios end we have app delicate and the same uh, initialization to be done on our ios projects too so that we have our case image renderer because this uh, ff image loading is based on case image renderer uh, plugin that is our native one and uh, here uh, that is it we are now ready to start with the uh, crop image of feature inside our jamming forms fresh project so in order to do it here you can see i have started my application from main page and it might be any page that you are using inside your uh, app so it depends upon your requirement how you really want to do and here you can see i have a main page and it does it has basically just a scroll view and inside the scroll view i have a stack layout where you can see i have ff image loading kissed image and this uh, is the only thing that helps me to uh, get the image out of the view model so i have used a mbvm approach to in order to get that image from the view model so this is just a basic mbvm where ff image loading uh, case image is the plugin uh, which inherits from this namespace and uh, which gets its image from the view model so that is just a basic uh, thing that we need to know about and this is the uh, hot and brain of the image editor how it really gonna work so that is the transformation is going to get inherited from the view model that is our view model is going to refresh the image and then refresh the dimension and provide it to the uh, kids image that is our image url and then all the transformation is going to happen that is if i scroll it or pan it then it is going to transform that image and then it just its size to the canvas and then you can see over here we have two gestures that are added that is our pin gesture as well as the pan gesture that is pinch is for zooming in the image whereas pan is just to just pan the image wherever we really want to uh, go that is uh, within that single canvas now here you can see i have added one event handler for pinch update as well as pan update so that these are two important things that we should consider before uh, updating any type of images so here you can see i have uh, the main page.xaml.cs where uh, we have binded our main page with the view model that is crop view model and you can see i have binded my main page that is binding context equals to uh, crop view model and i have added one uh, instance of the view model so that I can use its properties that is our view model properties like let us suppose if you want to get any type of uh, things from the view model then we can just instantiate with uh, one new space like this then uh, that's it we can get any type of uh, internal objects out of the 
view model to the main page.xaml.cs and let's not talk about this messaging center as of now that is really required later i'll just let you know uh, when we are going to use that now on pins update as well as on pan update what we are going to do is all the arguments that are there in the image that is if i pinch that image then what is going to happen when i pan the image then what is going to happen is going to be sent to the view model okay and then all the evaluation is going to happen on the view model itself and that is it on the main page.xaml.sourias so these are the two things that you have to know before uh, going to the view model now now let's go to the crop view model all right so here you can see uh, we have something like transformation which helps us to transform the image to the pin as well as panned image so that is what mainly uh, main thing is about and you can see whenever the pin user zooms the image in then a pin update is going to get updated and then whenever the status is completed then it is going to get the uh, current x offset as well as the y offset and then all the mathematical operation is going to happen that is uh, what is the uh, zoom factor that the user has pinned and then if everything is done if the, all the mathematical calculation is done that is uh, evaluation of x offset as well as y offset then we are going to refresh the image with the help of this method and this method is going to tell that there, there was some transformation that was done with that image that is user has uh, been uh, zoomed the image in with the mathematical operation that is what is the zoom factor that uh, the user has done the x offset y offset and then uh, the floating point uh, for the image transformation that was done and then this transformation is uh, uh, having on property change that comes from this bindable object and don't forget to add this namespace before uh, you run up uh, this app so that uh, all the plugins in, in the implementation has been done so you can see i transformation gets inherited from ffm is loading the transformation and this transformation after it gets that uh, somebody ha has uh, zoomed the image in then this transformation helps the image to transform to the size of the canvas where the uh, zoom was done by the user now the same thing goes for the pan update too whenever the user pans the image then uh, the image is going to be panned to the mathematical operation and the transformation is going to tell that okay something has changed to the app and then do something and now as soon as the transformation is done then we need to refresh the image and in order to do that here i have used messaging center you can apply other methods too so as soon as the uh, this thing our image is reloaded the transformation gives all the information then we need to refresh the uh, image that is the image uh, that we have used that is our uh, ff image loading that case image so we are going to refresh reload the image and then adjust it with the transformation then and uh, that is it now our replay image refreshes and it should work on our android as well as ios and finally uh, in order to get the edited image uh, I have added one uh, button click handler and then as soon as the user clicks on that then you can see I have a simple basic image which is going to get the cropped image out of the edited image that is in the form of PNG so this is uh, what we really need and you can see I have this image and it will act as like a byte and you can convert it to a stream and send it to the API or whatever you want to do as well as you can just uh, use it and then save it in the uh, image source as a image source too so that is it and this is the one of the easiest way to crop the image and then get the image cropped image uh, as per the expectation that you really want that's all for this tutorial now thank you guys thanks for watching keep in touch for next tutorials